Okay, so hello, I'm Olivera and uh, I'm just gonna go through a bit of my combat AI that I'm currently developing. I'm going to showcase the melee part of the AI. So I'm not gonna showcase the pathing or the archers or the cavalries. I'm going to showcase the melee AI. So first we're gonna go and fight one of the melee AIs and I'm gonna talk a little bit in general, what it does, what it can and can't do, limits to it, if there's a way to defeat it, because I can make it perfect, which I have done, and then I've went down, so it's and tried to make it perform almost to the top. Okay, so first things first here. The, this combat AI, the higher the level it is, the better it's gonna be. The AI has a chance to fail blocking. It can also accidentally randomly spam and it can faint up to five times. When we fight the AI, it's primarily gonna be blocking and attacking back. Sometimes it can spam, as I said, and sometimes faint. When you fight it, it's gonna be much more dynamic for you as a player because an AI that faints or spams can surprise you and hit you when, you're, when you don't suspect it. Because normally, if it just blocks and attacks back, you're never gonna kill it. However, as this is based on the level of the AI, the higher level it is, the less chance of it fainting or spamming or misblocking it's going to have. So when we fight it here, you're going to see that it's gonna be pretty quick sometimes to try and punish some of my feints. So it's gonna attempt at least, you see, to punish when I'm fainting. I can faint as well sometimes. And as I said, for me as a player, it's much more dynamic. It can do small holds like it did there. And yeah, that's about it with the functionality of it. The AI in general is quite uh, hard to kill. So if you're facing, say, an archer in melee and another archer shooting at you, you might not be able to kill that archer in melee fast enough without being shot to death by the other archer. One thing that's positive though is that I have created a countermeasure to us players being overwhelmed. So I've, I've created a targeting script. It means that, that means that all the AIs are gonna try to target units that are not targeted too much. So each unit, if there's more of one side than another, can tar there will be roughly two of the more per one of the other. They're going to try and split up. If there's not enough to, to go by a two to one ratio in, the, in an area close by to where the fighting is, they're going to be an overwhelming amount on one. So if, say, the AI is charging you and the Lord on his horse he rides in first, they're not gonna ignore him, they're still gonna kill him. But if there's a lot of enemies coming, coming in, they're gonna slowly split off and it's gonna be a lot of small fights. So it's gonna be quite different from how it normally looks with a lot of clumps. So I'm going to showcase this by fighting Jarl Eric. I'm going to primarily use Nordus Carls, a few archers. Actually, we can probably drop the calves. Oh, I think he has to heal a bit. We can just... 18. Okay, I'm going to drop a few of my numbers instead. And then we're going to fight him. So... Let's go with 17. So now we're going to fight him. I'm just going to showcase how this executes in real time as we're fighting him. So for some music. One important thing to note here is that... Uh, oops. Uh, is that when we're fighting the AI here... It's going to take longer for each AI to die 
unless we attack it in the back. Which means that us as players have to try and punish the AI by going on its back instead of blocking and attacking and kick and slashing it or just hitting twice for it to die. This means that it's going to be more challenging and it may take longer for us to finish up a fight that's going on. So once I'm properly done with this, it's going to showcase itself a lot better in, say, arenas, where you're going to be on one on ones So here is a good example of where I'm gonna have to try and kill these two AIs, right? And they, they're going to try and punish what I'm doing. So it's very hard for me. actually punish them. Now I'm a used to competitive player so I can turn between them and block and do some of the small and abusive stuff. But we can notice already how long the fight is. Take an extraordinary amount of time because it takes time even for this Nord Skarl to kill a Nord Warrior. Even if they're much stronger, fail us and with time they're defeating it. So here, in order to win melee fights, it's now much more important to have archers and cavalrys that disrupt the enemies. Note that both the archers and the cavalrys are as strong as the infantrys per level. It's just infantry units are generally higher level, so they're also therefore going to have a generally higher chance of not failing. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm going to upload the module in the same post as this video. And yeah, I, I hope I can get some feedback on the combat and how you experience it. And things you would like, like if you could change up the damage or how much your units stack or similar things. Or other functions like... Do you, real, do you want the AI to kick or not? Should it be able to jump over kicks? Please give me both ideas and feedback when you play with like errors you find and such. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.